Welcome to Robot Studio Tutorials. When a robot is in motion, predicting exactly where it will stop depends on various factors, including speed, payload, and the robot's own inertia. These factors, individually or combined, can result in the robot coming to a halt outside of its safety zone. The stop position estimation function helps calculate the precise stopping distance based on these variables. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to record and playback robot motions and estimate stop positions. You will also learn how to measure visualized stop positions and utilize them in collision sets. Let's get started. From the Simulation tab, click on Signal Setup, then select Quick Add Position Signals to enable the recording of all necessary position signals for playing back the robot motion. Once you've read the disclaimer about stop estimation, click OK. To create a recording of the robot motion, start the simulation by clicking the play button. You can either wait for the simulation to finish or click stop at any time to end the recording. Click Playback to open the Recording Playback window. Drag the time slider to view the robot's position at a specific time. The play button starts the playback of the recorded robot motion. Use the controls in the Recording Playback window to pause, step backward, or step forward. Click the Category 0 checkbox to visualize the robot's estimated Category 0 stop position. The stop position will be visualized as a semi-transparent robot. In a Category 0 stop, power to the actuators is immediately removed, and mechanical brakes are applied. A robot stopped with a Category 0 stop does not follow its programmed path while decelerating. A Category 1 stop is a controlled stop with power available to the actuators. Power is removed from the actuators once the stop is achieved. A robot stopped with a Category 1 stop follows its programmed path while decelerating. Use the Category 0 and Category 1 checkboxes to toggle between the stop categories. The recording selected in the Recording Playback window is synchronized with the Signal Analyzer window. Selecting a recording in one window will also open it in the other. When playing a recording or moving the time slider, the current time will be indicated by a vertical line in the Signal Analyzer window. To measure the stop position graphics, ensure that it is enabled in the Recording Playback window. You can use the point-to-point -to -point tool to measure the distance between the stop position graphics and another object. Enable Stop Distance Measurement in the Recording Playback window to measure the stop distance of a selected point on the robot or tool. Additionally, you can use the Minimum Distance tool with the Stop Position Graphics. The intersection between the two measured objects will be displayed in the graphics view. You can use stop position graphics in collision detection instead of the normal graphics by enabling this feature in the recording playback window. To do this, click on Create Collision Set, add the tool to one side of the collision set and another object to the other side. The stop position estimation feature improves safety, reduces the footprint of robotic cells, and optimizes production lines. It's a critical tool for ensuring efficient and secure robot operation. By knowing the exact stopping point, engineers can design robotic cells with appropriate safety margins, preventing collisions with other equipment, walls, or personnel. It is also possible to visualize the Category 0 and Category 1 stop positions for a robot mounted on a track. 
By accurately estimating the stopping position during simulation, programmers can fine-tune their programs and ensure safe operation before deploying them on the actual robot. In summary, the stop position estimation feature improves safety, reduces the footprint of robotic cells, and optimizes production lines. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.